Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. It's gonna be a classy chicken. I'm gonna use the movie tarot deck for the main read. I'm actually gonna give it a quick shuffle right now. And then um, I also brought my angel therapy deck with me today. So I want us to get some guidance, a little bit of me time, angel time, see what's what and what do we need to pay attention to. We continue moving through a lot of various interesting energies, still under the influence of new moon. New moon in Pisces. Later in the month, we will have an eclipse, we will have an equinox, so there will be more challenges and uh, opportunities to work with so let's make sure we're on top of things we are in our best energy our best resource and uh, we take it forward in the best possible way All right let's see what the advice is for divine feminine watching two cards <clears throat> throat chakra and third eye chakra the angels are helping you lovingly speak your truth it is safe for you to see the energy of love in all its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. So to me, both of these cards are saying that you need to pay attention to what uh, the angels and your higher self is telling you, right? There will be different kinds of signs, visions, dreams, even sensations in your body for some of you, depending on your gift cluster and where you are the strongest in terms of your senses, in terms of how you receive information. Uh, and of course, how ready you are for information, right? It's like dreamland is a little bit um, lighter version of receiving it, right? So we usually can get a lot more um, out of it. Um, so yeah, anyways, third eye, third chakra and third eye uh, to pay attention to, to enhance that channel of communication if you wishes. I never really thought about it, right? Because third eye is your channel of communication with the ethers, with the 5D, is how you see, quote unquote, right? Your throat chakra is literally your communication with the world. So make sure that, that those channels are clear and ready to receive and to communicate without fear. <laughs> um, for masculine Sagara Kendall Michael, you're working very closely with this powerful Archangel who is protecting and guiding you through this situation. And surprise, surprise, Archangel, Archangel My Michael um, is the guardian of Twin Flames. So that is already giving us some info on where the masculines are, that they're getting a lot closer. They are kind of like closing in on <sighs> certain blind spots I'm hearing that they've had where they haven't really seen they couldn't put all the different facts and events together. What does it mean? What kind of picture do they present and what for? It's like, you know, this is trying to tell me something, but I'm not really clear what, right? Like now they're getting it. It's coming full circle for now. And essentially that's bringing them closer to their true self and to their connection with the feminine. Okay. Let's see what the movie tarot would tell us. If you're interested in a personal read for your child via an email address or through my website, mindfulbamboo.com. Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. Mm, very interesting. So putting behind repeated cycles of neglect and abuse I'm hearing. Wow. It's like when you are putting like you keep the same energy in a certain area and you're attracting the same type of people or situations in it. it can be personal professional romantic friendship doesn't really matter but this is like getting out of the trap like understanding that i can't be doing the same thing and expect a different result this is like okay i'm doing things differently yeah maybe it's a long stretch for you know a long shot <laughs> from where I am but I am gonna try and get there right like at least I'm gonna keep trying and, and learning and see what I'm supposed to be doing six of pentacles yeah and that's the law of reciprocity and the law of karma if anything 
right like that's what i'm putting out that's what that's the expectation something that's the energy i'm emanating and you know knowing what i want uh coming from a good place from a happy place from a wholesome place and that's what essentially i'll be attracting back okay feminines your energy the hermit clarified by the emperor two major arcanas look at that wow this is pretty impressive so it's like the I'm getting this picture or this image of a hunter getting ready for the hunt you know like gathering gathering the tools um get enough energy because and especially if you're like if you go back to like middle ages or even before that like those hunts could take days right so days on end without much sleep or rest so it's like I'm preparing for a battle essentially right like I'm I need to have all the resources I have at my most at my optimal right and this is like connecting to self while you're doing it right and discovering more it's not just the external resources it's also the internal resources the emotional resolve um, the resilience together with emotional intelligence very interesting on masculines, we have Queen of Cups clarified by the devil. <laughs> we saw the devil yesterday, I think. Uh, and even Queen of Cups is a little mischievous here because it's under Toto in. Um, oh my god, what's the. Uh, <laughs> what was the name of the movie? <laughs> oh my god, I'll have, to, I'll have to check it now. Uh, do I have my book? Where's my book? Maybe I don't. I have my book. Amelie. Not exactly sure, but yeah, somehow I had sure. So yeah, so even the Queen of Cups is mischievous here. It's like, hmm, I can be a little, I can play a good game with this. It's like using empathy, but not for, well, I wouldn't even say not for the good intentions let's say for for egotistic intentions <laughs> right it's like um masculines are in the space where they're seeing actually how they've a lot of times that they've been manipulated other people by having that access to them on the emotional level but no but by knowing them and like reading people and understanding which buttons to push right like it all seemed innocent on the surface but actually it wasn't that innocent and maybe they've ever even been told about that right because some people can see that uh it, it wasn't that convoluted <laughs> uh but they would be in denial about it they'll be just whatever you don't know what you're talking about it's your it's your issue right uh and just push it back but now they're like oh yeah now i'm starting to see how that maybe wasn't sincere it wasn't kind like maybe that's not good right it's almost like i'm getting really that a lot of times they were doing it subconsciously automatically like it became an instinct and they were just well that's how you talk to people right yeah for a lot of them answering questions that a lot of, the, of you may have it's because they've been taught that way they've been treated that way by someone in their life so they're like, well, you know, this is what I know. Like, is there something else? Like, am I not supposed to take advantage of people's weaknesses? Oh, now you're telling me, <laughs> right? But it's coming now back to them because they have seen that it's not just that it's not fair or like, you know, it's not about fair or unfair. It's like they were hurting people actually. And that was never the intention, but that's what happened. And now they're realizing this. Um, it's already becoming a little too long. Um, I'll try to move faster through messages. So for additional question, we have Ten of Cups with the moon, right? Both of them actually have moon in, in them. Um, this is about what, like it's, the emotional fulfillment on the inner child level that's what i'm getting here it's like it's very deep it's very private and intimate what's that emotional fulfillment like on that intimate level for 
what is it all about for the feminine? Eight of Cups, clarified by Eight of Pentacles. <sighs> Accepting and working with things that are emotionally aligned, that are kind, that are loving, and letting go or kind of like processing through and leaving behind things that are not healthy. And the same with people and situations. Um, not being stuck in the wrong thing, not try to work too hard, but actually let it pass by, let it slide. Naturally see what happens with it then. Like doing the work doesn't necessarily mean putting long hours, right? Like it's that work, work smart, don't work hard kind of idea. And like being able to let go more, there we go. It's a lot about that not being not grasping to the hurt to the trauma to to the failed situations but being able to let go and move on for my class is nine of cups clarified by the tower yeah so this is about self-actualization that maslow pyramid and the very top we have self-actualization right that special x factor that special something that's also very personal, right? It's very unique to uh, every person, to each person. And um, for the masculines, it's finding out what it is, right? It's finding out, it's being open to surprises and even shocking information of what it is. Because again, they had certain predispositions naturally, but they grew up with the understanding that some of those things were not supported or favored. Some of those things were just not cool to do. And others, they just never had enough um, courage or character, like willpower to get on with as a child. And they just left it behind. And then more and more, there were layers of society and personal experience that were getting in the way of understanding what it was. And again, I was talking about the inner child. That's what, that's the inner child um passion right that's what would be speaking to the inner child message from mask from feminine to masculine four of coins clarified by four of wands wow it's interesting fours and eights <sighs> so right now feminine is kind of holding herself back with this dreams and fantasies of celebrating together and being in union right it's like uh trying not to go too much into wishful thinking not too much into this fantasy but stay grounded in reality and it's not easy a lot of times but feminine feels feminine feels like that's important right now to stay grounded stay realistic and focus on what's in front of us in reality rather than daydreaming about this fairy tale that one day may happen Oh my god, and for the masculine so for once clarified by six of cups. Can you imagine? And we continue getting the sweetest cards from masculines to feminines. Thank you, masculines. Um I don't know, do I need to explain? They know, they know that you are the one feminines, that there is such a deep bond here. And I was just talking about inner children, and immediately we see this connection to the inner child. Like you speak to their inner child on a different level like you imagine that you directly speak like you go right through them and into that inner child zone like directly to their core and that's shocking but also very exciting for them and yes to them this is the person that they can connect for for a lifetime this is they're starting to accept it more on a conscious level, on a practical level. And we can be talking a lot about what it means, but I, I think you understand. And for different scenarios, since it's a collective reading, it's hard for me to, to tap into every, every scenario here. But yeah, there's been a lot where, a lot of times, a lot of reasons why they thought this may not be a good idea, or this will not work out. Like this is, again, this is like a fantasy, but it's not gonna happen or no i don't think this is for me actually <laughs> right like now that all is almost like melting away with this fiery for once especially in this deck uh it's melting away 
and they're accepting more and more in the physical that a this is worth it and they're ready to work for it and to find a compromise and to find a way to make it happen and b this is so huge and so special that none of those external factors are actually going to matter at the end right like whatever those are however we're going to overcome them they're not going to stop us and it's not going to be a deal breaker okay i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for joining me today guys i love you all and i'll be back for more readings very very soon please don't forget to like subscribe and share this with those who may need it i love you all bye